Hi, I'm Steve from JPS Electrical Services. In today's video, I'm just going to have a little chat about um, thinking about thinking ahead when you're planning work. Today, I'm in a property working for a client that I've done quite a bit of work for in the past, and it's only through plans and discussion that I saw an. Um, an issue that could be prevented and at the moment let me just show you at the moment you can see there's no no flooring down they're having brand new joists put in just take you across uh, this is the ground floor uh, the living room and dining room so they've got no floor in here and no floor in the hallway and this floor, once it's all done, is gonna be completely sealed off. Now, like I said, I know from discussion uh, on previous visits that their kitchen will be renovated at some point. I think it's about two years down the line. Now, alarm bells started ringing to me straight away because the fuse board is at the front of the property, by the front door, and the kitchen is at the back of the property. So the floor is gonna be sealed uh, they've had brand new carpets and everything put down upstairs, all nicely decorated. So I found out when the person doing the flooring was in and I've actually come in and I've laid some circuits um, because this is quite an old installation. I've laid four new circuits going to the kitchen, um, which can be used for multiple purposes. I've got a, a six mil in there, um, a four mil, a 2.5. Um, I've also run in a 4 mil earth. Now, electricians will know why I've done that. Um, it kind of gives the, the 4 mil cable there an additional use. Uh, just the size of the conductor, the earthing conductor in, in there kind of limits the use on a 4 mil. However, with a, a 4 mil earth running along, alongside it, it opens up um, if you want to use it with an oven or something like that, that will fall within the capacity. So that's why I've done that. And because there's no joists or floorboards, it's the ideal time to do it. Can you imagine the disruption if this would have gone um, unnoticed and they got to a point, right, we want to do the kitchen now, say in two years time, and oh, we need to get cables from the front door to the back door. One, it's going to cost a fortune in labor and two, it's encouraging damage in the property. Now, if you're thinking of spending money decorating your property, try to think ahead. What else might we like to do in the property? What can we do? What needs to be done? Do we need to get a plumber in to um, seek advice on, do we need additional pipes in? This has got a lead pipe going from the front to the kitchen as well. Um, this would be the ideal time to have a blue water pipe put in. Uh, lead is actually being replaced by the water board, I believe, free of charge, or they pay for the, the replacement. So it's something else to consider. So if you're thinking of taking on a project, try and plan ahead as far as possible. Think or just invite tradesmen in, share your ideas with them and say, do you, do you see any issues we might encounter or can you see something that might be worth doing now so that we don't have to rip up all our hard work at a later date and this goes for um, people moving into new houses as well a lot of people will have an electrical inspection done find that the installation has got good satisfactory results um, and then they want to alter things along the way so you might have an installation that's 30, 40 years old and then you want to start connecting brand new cable. That's fine. That's going to work fine for a while. What about when it starts to go wrong? It's more than likely going to be the old cable that starts to break down and you're going to end up hacking off brand new plastered walls, um, all your nice decorations. And let's face it, people spend thousands on decorating their homes. So if you get to a situation where you're doing quite quite an overhaul, get the, 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 the trades specialists in and just chat, share your ideas and see what's gonna come back 
um, hopefully this video is just going to prepare you or make you think because a lot of this gets overlooked and people just end up spending money twice and I, I detest that with a passion whenever I work with a client I always try to think right um, we've got a set of balancing scales we've got cost versus benefit spending money twice on the same thing doesn't go down well not for me and probably not with a client either so do yourselves a favor if you're thinking of having any work done whatsoever get the trades in and just chat share your ideas and see what they come back with is there anything you need to do before you seal that room off i hope this video has been of use to you don't forget like and sh uh, subscribe to the channel and if you're really really kind share the video with your friends and family okay see you in the next video thanks then bye bye Thank you.